Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Europa. It's been a couple of weeks since I've made a video, I'm afraid. My wife actually took ill, uh, just as my YouTube channel got monetized. So I got monetized around about the, the 19th, 20th of August, uh, and, and my wife ended up being rushed to hospital. And we've a couple of trips to A and E and, and one thing or another. I mean, she's on well under men now, so please don't worry. But um, it's just been sort of challenging with that. And uh, my, my day job, I don't know if I mentioned before, I'm a program manager for an engineering company, and I manage multi-million pound engineering contracts and programs. Uh, and that's also been quite challenging at the same time. So it's just been yeah, it's been a, a sort of a perfect storm of things happening over the last few weeks, which means that. I have just not had the time to, to to make any videos, and the videos I have dropped have been ones that I've already had pre-recorded. Um, I am going on holiday also in a couple of weeks' time, and I was trying to get a load of videos bagged and lined up so they would release while I was away. That's looking unlikely to happen now. I will try and get a couple of videos set up and ready to drop while I'm off, but probably not as many as I wanted. But yeah, so. Please bear with me guys, it, um, uh, I've not forgotten you, I am back, I am starting to make more videos again, and yeah, so let's carry on. So back in Europa, I can't even remember what I did last time if I'm honest. I know I need to grow more food, and I was thinking could I grow a vertical greenhouse? I don't know, you know what, I don't know. Sort of, um, probably wouldn't work with the lights or that's the only thing. Mm, I'm have to think about that one. But for now, we have this one potato, lowly potato grown here, which uh, I will need to get to seed. I will then plant it out and try and grow more um, seeds from that. Um, if I remember correctly, we actually used a soya bean and a wheat, and we lost those. What's the temperature like? Oh, yes, that's right. The temperature's low in here, isn't it? Because I um, inadvertently uh, opened this door and let a load of cold gas in. How stupid of me. So, let, let's turn these on. I've got quite a bit of uh, electricity at the moment. I've got a pretty much full battery. So let's turn those on to try and get some heat in here. I also think the gas in here is quite warm, so let's bring up my atmosphere analyzer. What's the temperature in here? Uh, 23. What's in this one? 26. What's the pressure in here? 56 so we can afford to now what's that let's see I didn't check what the calm dioxide ratio was calm dioxide did 7% so we can afford to vent some of this gas into the room let's just set the target of 80 for now and this will help warm the room up a little bit at least and just keep an eye on our pressure so we we'll just start over here so I can keep an eye on the pressure not too close to the tank. Yeah, and just let that go up several hundred litres or uh, moles of gas in here. Oh no, is that empty already? Really? You're empty already? Hmm. Okay. I didn't have as much gas in there as I thought. Um. Ah, okay, so I will need to get some more gas. That's right, I'll probably do a similar thing to last time and use a filter. I know somebody said you can freeze the carbon dioxide out of the air. The problem then is that carbon dioxide is frozen uh, when you bring in your room, you cool your room down. And what I actually want is my room to heat up. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised you use carbon dioxide already. Uh, I thought I'd more than that. Okay, never mind. Not a lot I can do about it. Something else that somebody else pointed out to me. Uh, when I was hydration critical. When I was trying to fit this block down here, I had the oxygen tank uh, right up against the window, um, and it was the oxygen tank that stopped me installing that. There was an error message did come up, but while I was doing it, I missed the error message. Uh, um, quite honestly, some of them doing there trying to record things and you're thinking about what you're doing, what you want to do next, what you're saying you miss these messages and things that come up. Um, 
so, so thank you for that. I do appreciate the comment. Now I know why it wasn't going in. I thought it was going around the bend, but that's not the case either. All right, how are we doing? Two soil. So water. I need water. Where's my water? My water's over here. Are you turned on? No, turn it on quickly. Um, temperature, pressure. Um, and I want to open my helmet. I should be able to breathe all right in here. Now my health's a hundred percent, but I notice I've got a little decreasing suit or helmet on. No, it's hygiene, okay. Yeah, but there's nothing else affecting me, that's just hygiene. Food quality, plus 25 hydration, mood is increasing, good hygiene. Okay, I don't know why I've got that little mannequin there. And I drank all the water. Just go right up again. There we go. So yeah, just need to get the temperature in here back up to something suitable. I can't quite remember what my plants require. That one's got a flat battery, and I also have. Yeah, uh, you can go. You know what? You can go in the floor down here. I will swap the bat. No, swap the battery out. Not here. Might as well just swap the battery out. Uh, something else I did rather stupid is I made another tablet. Uh, this one, if you look, it's got the plant analyzer in it. And if you look at this green one, it's got the plant analyzer in it. That was something else and a stupid thing somebody pointed out to me that it already had the plant analyzer built. Ooh, the power is going down quick, man. Okay, let's, uh, let's just turn you off for now. Temperature is 21 degrees. I hope solar heating will heat this room up. Now let's have a look at this plant. How are you doing? What's the temperature for you? Uh, min ideal temperature 19, okay, max 32, current temperature is 22, okay, so that's all okay. The max ideal pressure is fine, current pressure, min ideal pressure is 55 nor 59, so that's okay. Light intensity 80%, light fishing 133, and only 22% light stress. Um, I have programmed that light to come on and off now, I remember doing that. Um, calm dark side is 9.7, that's good, it needs to be over 1. Pollutant limit is 996, and we're currently at 12.8, so that's okay. And volatiles is 0. And uh, my light is, oh, that's the grow light, it's just gonna, that's fine. Um, so hopefully the light stress will reduce. Okay, so I put him back down there, I know where he is then, I don't need, don't need to carry him around with me. Every, everywhere, and to be honest, I don't need to carry this other one around on me either. I will find another use for that one. Right, what do we have materials wise? What do I got in my backpack? Oh, I'm planning in here. And I have to make some more steel. No, I need some more coal. Unless I have coal knocking around in here. What do I have in here? Uh, no, it's just. Uh, Ices, let's stick these in here. Yeah, so pure ice, calm dark side. So that was something that froze out the atmosphere and my airlock. That one, so yeah, just yeah. It'll cool the air down a bit, but not much. And you are nitrice, I don't really need you. Yeah, I don't really need that nitrice. I do need the oxide, the volatiles, and the water. I can't do anything with a cobalt at the moment. Or the lead. Or the silver. Okay, that leaves that there, so that's okay, I'm happy with that. You can go back in there. What do I have on my belt here? Oh, there's a bit of coal. And uh, gold, that's story 50 gold there. Yeah, that's no, okay, that's fine. So, yeah, we need to try and produce more energy as well. Um, we've obviously got these wind generators up here, but they're not actually producing a great deal of energy. 400 watts. 
ain't a lot coming in when I've got 600 watts going out. Now you're taking quite a bit of energy. Turn you off. You're fully charged. Turn you off. What's that taking it down to? 325 with 600 not coming in. So yeah, I think we need to try and get some more uh, wind turbines on top of that roof up there. And they have produced an electronics printer. Okay. Let's have a look. Upright wind turbines. I've got enough to build ooh, three or four of those. Let's set that going. Sun's coming up good because I need to go and get some more coal really. Let's throw that out. I might just set that run down what um, resources it's got and go and get some coal. Let's put it in here, don't that. Flapping around out there. Got any glass? No, the glass in my backpack. There we go. But I do need a battery for my. For you um, and food. So, what food do I have on me? And um, what did that do for my food? Forty-five. Oof, not a lot. Not got anything else. I thought I had some more cereal bars. So yeah, there we do. I actually started playing um, the moon on Stationeer's level, which is the hardest level, on Brutal Mode. Um, I may um, do another session of that at some point, but that, that is very challenging, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Doors my sight from you, close my helmet, oh, before I get to. And you can go off as well and save a bit of energy there. So, sun is coming up. Low. How many filters? Oh, filters are okay. They are getting a little bit low, but it's not too far yet. How's that battery doing? 31, that could probably do being replaced as well. Um, that's okay, we, we can live with that for now. I uh, quite like that glow in the sky. Coal. I believe there was a lot of coal over this way. How are you doing? 66, yeah, that'll do. Just make sure... Oh, there you go, there's the sun up. Let's see if we can find some coal. It's iron. Yeah, when you're at stationers level in on this, in this game, you burn through your oxygen, your water, uh, your food so much quicker. Your jetpack's like four or five times the uh, rate, and it's it's it is quite phenomenal. And uh, your stock so little kit. Any more here? Yeah, it's a bit here. Right. Turn you off. Power's 50%, that's fine. Kaboom. Kaboom. There we go. I do like that. Ooh, that's a nice big hole. Oh, I've got quite a bit as well. Uh, don't need my um, drill on to do this. I'm going to come and pick it up. But I do want to get some more iron as well. So it's here. at all. My light seems very dim. Is that on? Is that light actually on? Yeah, it, is. it just seems rather dim at all. So, it calls that 30, that's 80, sorry, 84. Get the bigger drill as well, that's the other thing. It's a bigger drill that mine is so much quicker. Some more coal there. I've got 
got to try and stop saying M and R in these videos because when I go back to edit them, God, I don't need to worry about that. When I go back to edit them, um, it's interesting in M. I have to cut all these M's and R's out because it just gets a bit repetitive for once. So I've got to try and stop saying M and R and R's and things like that. What is my oxygen level like? 640. Is that cold? It's cold there as well. Let's risk just taking a big chug over here. Bit close to my base, but uh, you know what? Look dangerously. Oxygen, what's my oxygen at? 605, that's okay. Oh, that wasn't much. As much as I hoped. Okay, so let's get this. go back and get some oxygen. I think that's enough. I think that is enough coal for now. I managed to do it in daylight. Awesome. So yeah, if you'd like to see me try a brutal Mars uh, at station here level, please let me know in the comments. And depending on what kind of response I get, uh, I will decide what I'm going to do now. I've got coal here, haven't I? I've got loads of coal here. I forgot about that. Never mind. They used, oh, they used CO2, no, 91, 100. So you can go in there, you can go in there. Might as well swap those two over. Oh, I need one of those for the filter though, don't I? To filter out the CO2. I can sort that out, it's fine. I can print some more. It's not a problem. Close you. And let's see, what do we have? So... Oh yeah, I set the airlock up properly last time, didn't I? So the airlock was working. That's what took, uh, blew all the cold gas in, trying to set that up. So how many of these do I have now? I've got four of these, that's good. I need some heavy duty cables. I think I've already got some on the top there. I think I left some, so... While that is doing that, let me go and... Air tank critical. Top up my oxygen. Temperature in here, 22. How are you doing? You got a seed, good. Take you, thank you. Let's get 10. That should be enough, I would have thought. For now, everything else okay? Yeah. Uh, waste tank, waste tank's nearly full, so let's not waste the CO2. You can go my backpack. You can go away. You can go away. Open you. Oh yeah, I left, I left some cabling up here so I can connect these. That was good of me. That was well planned. There's one, two, three, four. Now that is just effectively doubled my power input from the wind. Sounds impressive anyway. You are my volatiles, you're okay up there. I do at some point as well need to K 
collect oxygen from outside, but I've got to do it in a, such a way that I'm not going to freeze my base doing it. I need to be able to bring some in to top my oxygen tank back up, but it, I need to do it so I can keep the temperature above freezing. Because I don't want to breathe, want to, I don't want to be breathing freezing oxygen. It's not good for your health. So what has that done to our energy production? That's now 1.4 kilowatts, and we are pulling 300 watts currently. So that's okay. That's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. That will be charging things. I need to, while I'm here, charge some batteries. Charge you. How's my suit battery doing? Swap you out. And swap you out. I'll be drawing a bit more current now, I'd imagine. Yeah, 1.8 with just under 1k coming in, so that will be running the batteries down. That's fully expected when you're running, oh, when you're charging batteries, you're going to be pulling quite a bit of current. So how are you doing? Thriving, 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 good. You're controlling the light, that's good. Did I ever get around to setting you up? Yes, oh I did. Oh yes, you're off, aren't you? That's right. It says coal in the system. I must remember that. What I would like to do is... Replace that one with a window so I know when there's no coal left in there. For that I need another chute. Do I have a chute in here? Yes, oh, plenty of chutes in there. Maybe I'll make a mess on my floor with coal. Can I pick you up? Yes, good. So you want to be a window? Window. So, there we go. And now, I can't there were 30s and 7s. I don't understand why I put 30s and 7s in there. Never mind, I will put yeah, you can see that for the moment then. Now I'll stick you in here and I'll stick you in here. That way I know I've got hundred coal. If that drops below I think it's twenty percent I set it to, the generator will come on. Okay, so that's you done. Mining drill. Uh, it was just normal battery in the mining drill, wasn't it? Um, you, 54, you can go in there. You're 40, you can go in there. You're 75, you can go in there. That's charging all them. Yeah, and I've just done you. Um, the tablet's doing 84. And 41. So I just want to get all this charged while I can. Temperature in here now, 22, that's okay. So, remember we've got the coal out there, I'm just going to turn these back on for a little bit. I'd like to, be the te like to get the temperature up to 25 in this room. It's new, not using, I do need to set you up outside. So to use you, I need a... Um, what do you call it? A... There we go. Portable connector, that's it. We are missing iron. I think I've just used all the iron in here. Yes I have, so I'm going to have to go and smelt some iron. But first let's get these batteries back. So you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. And you're good. Plenty of iron there. Coal. Don't need steel, I don't think, at the moment. 
120 grams of steel, so no. Helmet closed. Um, somebody was asking me also if I could do a video on how to use the advanced furnace in various ways before you've got a tank and things like this. And I am happy to do that if people want to see that. Put some more coke in there, uh, iron in there. Obviously there's various ways you can use it. You can use it with ices, so nitrice, sorry, not nitrice, oxide and volatiles, which you can also use it with a tank, a st uh, insulated tank of pipes for storing hot gas. So you use the ice as initially to turn off my ears. Oh, wasn't that hot enough? Why haven't you? Oh, this is where the problem is. You see, the gas is on hot enough now. So now is actually an ideal time to get the. Time to turn that up. Can I get above 800? I've got above 800. So that's what I wanted anyway. You can go away. You can go into there. I've got a tank connected out here, have I? I have, you know. Look at that. I forgot about that. So you can go there, I guess. Any insulated pipes? No. It's a shame. Oh, and I need to put the atmospheric unit in here. So I've got an atmospheric unit out here. Furnace. Liquid. I thought I had an atmospheric unit. Somewhere. Radiator. Power. Portable gas generator. Oh yeah, my notorious gas that kept blowing my base up. Um, no, I haven't. I must have used that atmospheric tune elsewhere. Where did I use that? Am I sure I don't have one? No. No, no. No. Let's look inside. I'm not convinced. That was fair. There we go. I thought I had one somewhere. So you can go in there. Insulated pipes. Five insulated pipes. That's good. How do I want to do this? Yeah, I know how I want to do it. So that's that. That's that. I just need my insulated tank, which is empty, so I might as well. Oh, get rid of the shoots. Don't need them on me. Don't need you. I'll stick it on the floor for now. Remember, I've got nickel, oh, iron there. <laughs> Constantine, okay. Um, need you, don't need you, don't need you. I will need some. It's temperature in here, 29. Oh, but dude, is off now. Off. CO2, CO2. I'm probably going to need some more. Insulated pipes. I'll 
let's see, let's see what we can get away with. Uh, one, uh, I'm probably going to need some more. I'll, I'll do what I can to begin with. Okay. So that's that, that's that. How are you doing? You charge? Yeah, you can go back in there. Then. You get a station beacon set up, so... I don't have to worry. Oh god, look how poor the power input is. Still, it's charged the battery a bit, because the battery was down to two bars, and that hasn't turned on. So, let me take that back up. I think I want to move where that is. I'm going to need my atmospherics unit. Filtration in, out, and filtered. So you can go. I can't get any further away, can I? No, there. In that is unfiltered. That's just a filtered output. That side it says unfiltered. Can go. Yeah, I need more, obviously. And I could also do with a couple more frames by the looks of it. Yeah. So I need some more frames and some more insulated pipes. And to get insulated pipes, I'm going to need. Uh, to this. I'm going to have to use some fresh gas because I need to smelt some silicon. For some reason that light made me jump set. <laughs> I'll stop you put you back into there. Uh, I've got no more silicon here, have I? No. Okay. They're empty, so I close you. Ten of you. Five of you. Silicon. I don't, do I? Well, I really thought I'd mine more silicon than that. In the backpack. No, I must have used it. Not to worry. Yep, yeah, I'll leave that like that, that should be fine. Where's that gas coming from? Well, I think it's just gas rushing. It keeps worrying me to see gas moving that way and thinking it's coming from somewhere. Uh, so 30 degrees in here now, so it's going to get the point where I start cooling this room instead of heating it. Uh, well, to be honest, I can use the oxygen to cool a car now as I'm pumping it in the tank. What was it doing? Pipes. Pipes, pipes, pipes. No pipes there. They must be outside. I need insulate and pipes, so... Steel. It's not high in the steel I need. Don't need bouncing off the ceiling. Yeah, let's make ten of these.
ten of them. I'm quickly going to take a slurp of water because I've just seen what my liquid intake is. Now I'm going to do one, I might as well do both. Called uh, connector, isn't it? Connector, portable connector. So I need one of them as well. Um, you can go down there for now. I will use you later. How are they doing? Are they still thriving? They're still thriving. Look at that. Um, I need the steel back out of you. Unless I've got steel in you, which I don't think I have. No. I've got any steel frames before I'm making some at iron. No. Frames, no. Stay my hand for now. And I need five steel sheets. I'll make six, so I'm not left with half a gram in there. Yeah, so guys, so thanks for all my supporters, by the way. I uh, really appreciate all the um, likes and subscribes and things and enabling me to get monetized. I'm, I'm clearing about 60p a day at the moment, which is what I'm, probably is about 75 cents. So it ain't going to make me rich by any stretch of the imagination. It doesn't even get anywhere close to paying, matching my cost of a one for running this channel. But it's still, you know, yeah, from great, from small acorns, great. Oak trees have grown, something like that. Anyway, I know what I mean. So yeah, thanks very much. Um, please keep up, uh, keep supporting me. Spread the word, let people know. Hitting the like button on my videos is a big help. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, about 80% of the people who watch my videos are new watchers, are unsubscribed. Uh, so they're not returning watchers. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, if I'm honest. But it's, yeah, I'd appreciate any help you can give me on trying to grow my channel. Right, you can go there. You can go there. There, and I need a spanner. So you, can move you. you can go there. Pipes, I've got some pipes here somewhere, haven't I? There. Is it cabling? Or is it just a screwdriver? Cable coil. A cable coil. Rats. Oh, I might be able to salvage one from here. Oh, look at that. So now I just need a screwdriver in there. Ah, uh, I need two cable coils. Damn it. Foiled once again. Uh, can't really recover anything from there, so we have to go and make a cable coil of all things. Let's check I've not got some already made. Cables are one of these things where you just constantly using them. They never last very long. I 
and I need to wire this in, so I'm going to need um, quite a few, probably about 15. Game making 16, so I'm not left with half a gram. 13, 14, 15, uh, 17, so I already have one in my hand. When you're ready, thank you. Now, how to run this cable? Uh, can I run it? Yeah. yeah. I'm probably going to have to put some logic on this. Find a Pokemon. No, I shouldn't need logic on this one actually. Oh, I've got enough cables. I don't think I've got anywhere near enough cables. Uh, one, two, three, I need another three or four cables. Now I'm going to put logic on the air tank instead. Think about it. That should do. So those wind turbines are just about holding their own. So I think. If I sort of double the number of wind turbines, make it 8 up there, so make it sort of 15, 16 up there, that should be enough to serve my uh, purposes for the time being. Right, you're there, I need to put you in, you in. Where to put that tank? Down, just fold down that tank. I must not have done. I thought about it and I didn't do it. No, he's still there. Is it you? Yeah, just makes it easier to transport it. And I can hear people saying, oh, you don't want to do that. You want to freeze the CO2 in this room. I don't. Not at this point. I want to have nice, stable temperature CO2. Right, that's a filtered output, so I'll fill up the output. So what'll happen here, I'm going to take some of the gas, the waste gas from here. Yes, it is hot. It's coming from here, but there's lots of CO2 in it. If we look at it, it's pipe even, you can see as a... Yeah, it's nearly 50, well, 48% CO2. So we'll take the CO2 out, pump it into there, the rest can go back into the tank. So turn you on and then just monitor this. Is it worth sticking a what's a pressure? What's the pressure on a pipe? Might pick up a pipe. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. So it's probably going to be worth sticking a pressure gauge on that pipe. Iron and copper. So I know I'm running in and out this airlock quite a bit. Uh, 
and now I've just got to look at that rather than using the um, tablet. So that's coming up. But it is hot gas at the moment, so I will have to probably stick some radiators on here. I might have to move this tank actually, another base, stick some radiators on it just to get rid of the excess heat. If I stick a valve on that, which I thought I've got one certainly inside the base, thought I had one out here, radiator there. I could just try, yeah, no, I'll, I need to stick a radiator in it probably to get rid of the excess heat before I take it inside my base. 662 degrees is a bit too warm. So, how much have we got now? 170, 374. Just leave that running for a bit. I'm just going to remember not letting it explode, which is my favourite trick. How are you doing? 98 or 100. And how are you doing? Uh, CO2 is 1.5k now, it's fine. So that's that one running, let's leave that running for a little bit. In the meantime... I want a... Volume pump. Oh, gold, I've got gold somewhere, there we go. Some slate pipes on me still, do I? Did I use them all? Looks like I used them all. No, I didn't use them all, did I? Must have left them outside, surely. You can go like so. fit in there. Oh, I don't want to think... I need to think about this. I need to think about this. I need to move that further over. For now. Hmm. Yeah, stick there. See, that should be far enough over. Stick you there, and then I need some pipes. Radiators, right? And a valve. Go on the end of there or not? No, no. Okay, I might not need that valve after all. Oh, there's insulate pipes, and you had some somewhere. How are you doing? 3.9, okay. doing 4.47 how many moles have we got in there now 400 I'll tell you what let's just turn it off for now so you don't risk blowing anything up and that will cool down naturally out here because that's not an insulated tank 
bits that should start to cool down. There's obviously quite a lot of volume in there. Okay, so that's our, where's the radiators? They're in here. Radiator kit. Uh, one might do. over. Okay. Cabling. On it. Don't mean we're gonna run it there either. Okay, let's run it down the outside. Is that enough? When you turn on, you turn on, so you're five. Two. It's really low speed coming in. gas coming in there now. At the same time uh, this radiator will be um, heating up slightly because it's 30 degrees in here, the gas in here is 25 and uh, that will be cooling the room site at the same time so if I play around with this I may be able to balance it out so the room temperature doesn't get too hot and I collect gas. I don't need to do anything with the gas, I'll tell you it's all CO2 anyway. Sorry, all O2 coming in anyway. So that is that running. So that's our oxygen taken care of. Like I say, that just needs to be above zero so it didn't harm you. Um, I will probably want to put some logic on this. I don't know if it's a connection there. Okay. Electrum, Electrum. I'm gonna that cable from the air, so that so what I've done is I've installed the pipe analyzer here which is connected to power so I can see the pressure in this container 
and the temperature. So the pressure is 5.13 megapascals and the temperature is currently about 20 degrees centigrade uh, centigrade to Kelvin year minus 273 the 273 of 293 gives around about 20 and if I look at the tank you see we're about 19.5 that's about right so that's the right temperature um, what I want to do is I need to get a utility uh, pipe utility unit on there to attach a bottle filler a canister filler which I put on the wall and I think I'm going to tap it off here because then I can put some radiators, come on radiators on it as long as radiators on the right network it'll work fine but first I'm going to stop that just so I don't make my base too my air tank my air supply too cold okay pipes I think they should have another um, radiator somewhere, but I blew it up, didn't I? I blew it up outside. That was annoying. <laughs> and let's go a couple tall. For you for utility. Iron. I need iron. I need the better backpack, jetpack, more space to. How am I? God, over there, growing wonderful now. Right, let's take you. Um. Oh, actually, looking at that, what's going to happen is that's going to get cold outside. So, uh, yeah, actually need that pipe work on the inside, can I, yeah, got it. Nope, you, you. There we go. So now I can put a canister in there. That was a radiator. Radiators in my pack, but you know what actually? Um, get you, get you. Will I have space? Just there. It's all connected to the same pipe wet network, it will help cool this down. So, radiator and a canister. Um, pipe radiator kit. Gold and steel. Is it gold? I think the steel's in here. No, steel's in here. Yeah, we're doing okay for power at the minute as well. Um, those eight wind turbines actually charging my batteries quite well. Let's close that and turn off. Is steel here? Yes it did. And then canister. Do I have any white paint? It's on my junk pile. Oh, there it is. Look, hide in the corner. Okay. Paint you white. You can go back in the junk pile. And you can go in there. Now I've just had another thought. Um, 
pressure regulator, copper. there can I damn okay let's change it back again Pipe in. I need you. And cabling, wire cutters. And we set you to. Turn you on, and now you should pressurize to eight thousand. I take an air from here. Should get that plug in that just paints everything in one go. Um, okay, what are we at? Five nine. Six one. And how are you doing? Four point three. So really, it's not so much the gas in here I need to worry about the temperature, although that will warm up and cool the room. It, it's really the gas in here, so having these radiators on this side of that will mean that there's a smaller volume to warm up. At least that's my thought process anyway. See, that's 28 degrees. What's my room? 29 degrees. Yeah, that's because of these, you see. 28 that side. 22 that side so them radiators are warming that gas which is what I'll be using to replenish my tank in a moment saying this I'm down to uh, 1.2 megapascal kilopascals and that is just pure oxygen in there yeah so as that gets to 8000 that will stop there we go. Done. So now swap. Ooh, no, I'll not swap them out. What I would do is I will take that tank and swap it from there. Drop it on the floor. I want to make sure this isn't polluted with anything. No, it's not. That's okay. That's okay. That's all I want to make sure that that one being polluted. Pressure in here four. It's going down now. See, so I need to get some logic. I'm going to need an IC housing. I don't think I can attach it to that one, can I? Can I? Uh, import. Edit.
Oh yeah, guess I could add this. Um... on me. No. I will have to start growing, uh, cooking some of those potatoes. One potato seed, one potato seed, one potato seed, that's good. So I've got plenty of potato seeds now. Um, I do need to get a fridge set up as well, so how, how much is a small fridge? Um, iron, gold and copper. Okay, I can probably just do that in a bit, but first of all, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a bit. I'll do that next session, I think. Um, in fact, you know what, I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. So I've got an oxygen supply that is now filling my tanks up. That's good. Let's vent that. Um, I have some more CO2 being captured outside, which I know you can go and check on. I have my batteries being charged on a regular basis. Our power. Uh, we're doing okay. The only thing we're going to be short of, so we've got food as well. The only thing we're going to be short of is water. And I believe I've actually got some water ice somewhere. Yes, yeah, so I've got a little bit of water ice there already. I need to go and get some more. And I'll wire there, plumb that into this so it tops our tank up. And then uh, we should be okay. We're at a point now where we are quite stable, or stable-ish. Yes, I need to get a fridge to store my food in. Yes, I need to expand my greenhouse. I'll probably push it out that way. Actually, I might push it out that way, I don't know yet. We've got somewhere we can wash, we've got somewhere we can grow. We've got our grow light working. Um, we've now got a supply of oxygen. But what do we need? So, um, just before I finish, I have been seeing some of the shots of the new landscape, the new procedurally, uh, procedurally generated landscape? I'm not quite sure. I think it's more manually generated landscape that Rocketworks are working on. And it's a lot smoother than this. This is very almost pixelated, voxelated, whatever you want to call it. Um, the new one looks way smoother, but it will be a fixed size. I think it's meant to be by four kilometers by four kilometers or two kilometers square four square kilometers something like that i can't remember off the top of my head but it looks a lot better i mean we're way off getting it yet they're still going to do a lot of work before they get it integrated into the game once it is integrated into the game they're talking about bringing the vehicles back so that's something to look forward to as well for now guys uh thanks for watching please hit the like and subscribe um let me know if you'd like to see me playing a brutal game on mars i did start to run one myself just for my own entertainment. It was a bit challenging. It wasn't Station E as level brutal. So Station E as level, if you don't know what that means, Station E as level reduces the, that increases the consumption of air, water, food, and jetpack and a couple of the bits and pieces just make it more challenging. And brutal means you start with pretty much nothing. So you don't have a uh, supply of oxygen. You don't have a supply of water. Uh, you have to start off with some frames, basically enough to build a basic printer and an arc furnace, and that is just about it. Oh, and one solar panel. And one power control, I think it was. And that's it. That isn't a lot. You do start off with a bit more food and water, to be fair. You have a couple of these each, because you, you 
you need to stay alive long enough to be able to set the base up. But if you'd like, like us to do that, please leave a uh, message in the comments. And depending on how many uh, responses I get, I might think about starting a game of that soon. For now, it's Dragonfire Gamer wishing you good night.